Love being a god dad. Love being a god dad. Uh, it's good fun. I don't see. I feel guilty sometimes because you know I, I travel a lot with this job. I don't see Ava as much as I'd like to. So whenever I do, I spoil her just so she still loves me. Not with like treats and stuff like you know physical things. I like to take her on experiences so she got positive memories of me there. So I always take her to farms because she loves horses. They blow her mind, and she loves feeding them. And last time we were feeding horses, her dad trusts me because I'm a good god dad. And he's like, "Can you look after her for five minutes and don't fuck this up?" And I was like, "Ah!" And then. <laughs> While he was at the toilet, I just took my special time with him to just teach her just how to, uh... <laughs> Not to people. Never. Never to people. Just to horses. <laughs> I looked at my two-year-old goddaughter in her perfect blue eyes and I said, Ava, this means I love you, horsey. <laughs> Why? Because who's the victim? There isn't one, I've triple checked. She doesn't know what she's doing. All she knows is that I'm crying with laughter. The horse doesn't know it's offended. It's a fucking horse. And now she thinks that it's what you do to horses. And it is never not funny. Nobody in this room has the ability to watch a two-year-old flip off every horse she sees and go, no. I don't understand why that's amusing. It gets funnier every night because you see the horses before she does and you know it's coming. Her dad still sends me videos of her being driven past fields of horses and she's just like, horses! So good. Why would you not want that in your life at every available opportunity? Free serotonin.